Good morning, Zio here. Woo! And I'm about to lose my glasses, apparently. Today, we're going to be talking about Billy Mitchell, the King of Kong, and his lawsuit against another content creator for saying their opinion, as well as providing evidence and other things in an unrelated video, but kind of related. Anyway, it's complicated, so let's get into it, shall we? And of course, the links for everything is down in the description down below, as well as a list of the letter, um, the demands, uh, some of the lies that happen to be in the letter as well, providing it will actually all fit in the description box. I'm not sure yet, uh, but it's going to be down there. At least the links will to everything that we are going to discuss. So if you want to go take a look at the original videos, um, among other things, go ahead and I implore you to go do that to get a more comprehensive idea of what's going on because we're not going to hit on every single note um, but we are going to go over a general you know thing of what's going on if you haven't subscribed to the channel go ahead and do so now if you haven't gotten your coffee go ahead and get some sit back relax because uh we're gonna this one might take a little bit I'm not sure it depends on how fast I can speak I guess but uh, Billy Mitchell, the King of Kong, if you don't know who that is, he scored or he is uh, credited with the highest Donkey Kong score among other scores in arcade, right? Um, and with recent years and technology advancing, some things have come into question about those scores. Now, um, as a result, Billy Mitchell has filed multiple lawsuits. We talked about this once before, which we are going to take a look at that video. Um, there's not going to be any sound or anything, but it will be linked in the description because it has something to do with MAME. Um, but the original video that that came from no longer exists, right? Because uh, we talked about this earlier um, a while back, I guess, when he decided to sue Twin Galaxies and Apollo Legends, which is a content creator who covers a lot of speed running and other stuff. Um, and we're gonna be talking about another content creator who also covers a lot of that similar stuff as well. Um, but yeah, so what I've got up here, of course, is the uh, sources list for Twin Galaxies, all this other stuff that you, sh you might wanna go through. It's an interesting thing to read, of course. And um, when those lawsuits were filed, because what happened is Twin Galaxies, which pretty much is like, um, I guess you can say, sort of the the record-keeping um, section of gaming. <laughs> that's that's an easy way to put it, right? But, you know, when it comes to keeping records of speed runs, achievements, scores, and stuff like that, a lot of places have official people who happen to handle that, right? And uh, this particular creator, um, which... Uh, is named uh, Carl Javust, I think is how you say it. I, I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing it, but his link, of course, is down below if you want to go check him out. Uh, did a video uh, over here called um, Guinness World Records Should Stay Out of Gaming. And it's a very compelling and interesting video uh, to learn. And the entire video is about Guinness World Records and how they operate, how they're a for profit organization. How you know they their uh, you know their standing has waned over the years with the advent of the internet and stuff like that, and how they come up with all these random bogus you know things like snapping how many times you can snap in a minute or the long or the quickest one hundred meter run or whatever and flippers and things like that and the exorbitant costs that they charge to have somebody come out to validate your record, um, who of course. Also has no idea how to properly validate these things because they that, that's not their wheelhouse, right? And, uh, you know, it's a very good video. You should go take a look at that if it's still up at this point in time. It is as of recording, of course. But uh, I went and looked for some of the other ones that Apollo Legends had done, and they apparently are no longer available. They have been removed. But, uh, you know, he's suing Twin Galaxies and Apollo Legends, I think, for a million dollars or something. Something absurd for um, talking about this. And, um, you know, 
world or Guinness World Records also dropped his um, world record as well. And then in a strange turn of events, suddenly they reinstated his um, uh, his world record out of nowhere, which uh, honestly, I would probably say and think the same thing. Either they feared getting sued or there's a possibility that they got paid a large sum of money to reinstate it because, you know, he paid for he might have paid for somebody to come validate the thing with Guinness people. And, you know, that's that costs quite a bit of money, to be totally honest. Um, but, yeah, if you go and look up the Guinness World Book of Records for certain things like, uh, you know, speed runs and other stuff, you may notice if you then go to the official areas like uh, Twin Peaks or Twin Galaxies and stuff like that, that the records do not, they're not the same thing because... And to get into Guinness, of course, you've got to have somebody present to validate it, but they have no idea how to properly validate it or to find out if it's even a real run or all this other stuff. Meanwhile, you've got experts, gamers who are volunteering their time who look at these things all the time and can validate these runs. And, you know, hacking a speed run is a doable thing and a lot easier these days. And it's also a lot harder to spot. You know, several speedruns have come into questions over the years for various things, whether it's been Yu-Gi-Oh! where the IDs just don't properly match the actual setup, but, you know, the person is getting a card that shouldn't be there or shouldn't drop, it should be another card, and all this other stuff, and speedruns of, say, Mario, where, you know, it looks really, really good or something, but it's been spliced together from other speedruns, and you can tell by just looking at it slowing down, the, the video footage and realizing that you know the top bar or whatnot sort of disappears or reappears in an inaccurate way like a second too late among other things which is why people talked about Billy Mitchell because of some information of his or of his speed run or speed run his world record supposedly came out and we're looking at my old video because the original video no longer there is there that I, I originally got this information from but it was essentially showing the loading screens between um, original hardware and MAME right and you can see how it loads up frame by frame and actually tell where the let's play is coming from or whatever you know the the world record is and of course you know they've got Billy's run which loads in exactly as it does in MAME which caused the controversy to begin with this is the whole thing that caused everybody to suddenly start questioning whether or not, you know, Billy really did score it on original hardware, because there is a difference between doing the scores on original hardware versus, um, you know, actually doing this on, say, uh, MAME or something. Um, you know, I, I've been getting into the speed running thing, not actually doing it, but watching a lot of it. And it's quite interesting that, you know, you've got all these different communities that come together and stuff. And they actually have leaderboards and all those other things where they've got stuff set up to where if you want it to speed run, you know, Super Mario or whatever for the 64, there's various ways of doing it. You can do the 120 run or, you know, the other run where you glitch yourself through the doors and all this other stuff, you know, glitch, non-glitch runs, original hardware, non-original hardware and all these other things. And it makes a difference. Now, does that mean that Billy didn't make that score? No, that, that that is not what I am saying. I'm sure Billy did make that score. Uh, the question, of course, comes into play is what hardware was actually used? Was it MAME or was it original hardware? There's plenty of video footage that shows them, like, for instance, removing the board from the arcade cabinet and replacing it with the exact same board, but it's supposed to be a different game. Uh, you also, of course, have that footage that we just looked at two seconds ago where his, you know, run is loading in MAME instead of actual original hardware, which, of course, calls into to questions of how to categorize the thing, which is why we have the lawsuits that we do. 
Gosh, I also have notes taken over here, so I'll be, be looking at that. But this is not the first time, of course, Billy Mitchell has done this. Uh, the guy's got an ego, I guess you can say, kind of like Trump. <laughs> if you really want to go into the political realm or whatnot, he, he does not like it when you talk ill of him or whatnot or make fun of him. And he did sue Cartoon Network for a portrayal of him, by the way, um, <clears throat> and lost that suit so that's an interesting note to take but <clears throat> this is the video in question right it's a video that for the first 10 and 18 seconds is talking about guinness world record should stay out of game and for the last five minutes it still talks about guinness world record should stay out of game giving an example using billy mitchell as that example <clears throat> as to why he should stay out and this is about 10 minutes and 23 seconds into the video where the kerfuffle happens essentially right he, he alludes to billy mitchell that's what they're going to talk about for a split second and this is sort of documentary style thing which is really nice i, I have to say I, I do enjoy how this is set up and that's where the rest of the video then goes into talking about guinness a brief history of billy mitchell and what actually happened when it comes to say this thing here and then alludes to that he'll be doing another video talking about this specific thing which is also something i wanted to do and completely forgot about um, <laughs> but anyway now he is being sued and this video of course is going to be linked in the description down below for you to watch because you're not watching it here uh where he actually briefly mentions it and then goes into the twin galaxy thing so if you want to know more about the twin galaxy thing i suggest you go take a look at this video in the description of course you know for you to use but uh yeah so we'll go ahead and go over what actually is happening with this lawsuit but um, he is now suing this content creator for defamation, essentially, and has sent a letter, and the process apparently is starting. He is suing for over 1,500, or sorry, 150,000. Jeez, I can't do, uh, because he is suing for 150,000 as compensatory damages and suing for another thousand or something, uh, 1,500 for an estimated cost, I guess, to send said letter and to start bringing, um, you know, the lawsuit into play. But uh, let's, let's briefly go over the letter list, five demands. The deletion of a YouTube publication, which was published on or about July uh, 25th, 2020. Your written undertaking never to repeat any of the allegations contained in the video about our client or anything similar, which is an interesting thing. Um, you know, if, if the allegations, of course, aren't aren't true, you know, you think the, um, you know, the evidence would speak for itself and all this other stuff. So why would you want it, you know, never to be repeated, let alone the, the video deleted? It may be because the video actually shows things that you don't want people to see, kind of like this stuff right here right um but yeah a written apology to our client in terms which are sat satisfactory both to ourselves and to our client of course you know wants some wants him to apologize for dare speaking against him and showing people that he might have used maim and you know speak his mind essentially uh, um you know I'm not 100% sure, of course, where people live, but here in the States, you've got your First Amendment. Um, yeah, I know other places don't have that, so that, that might be barking up the wrong tree uh, because you do have the right to voice your opinion. And in the video, he does voice his opinion about, um, you know, Billy Mitchell being a proven cheater just based on the evidence that is available to people that they can go and look up right now. But this is where things get really absurd. A payment of our client's costs, which we estimate to be in order of $1,500. And payment of compensatory damages in the sum of $150,000. Apparently, this video right here caused $150,000 worth of damage to the guy. Um, I don't believe that at all for a second. This video probably didn't even make close to that. Uh, just depending, you know just comparing like CPM rates or whatever they're called, uh, you know, for video and this thing having under, you know, or actually just over 400,000 views. Um, 
you know, probably didn't make a whole lot of money off that. Probably make more off of a sponsorship or something. I'm not really sure what the, the conversion rate is, but I'm pretty sure it's not that much, <laughs> to be totally honest. But um, yeah, apparently he, he's asking for a lot of damages. At least it's not the one million mark that he's, you know, going after, say, Twin Galaxies and Apollo Legends for. But in the video, and if you want to go and take a look at this video where he does, you know, talk about this, you know, that letter also has several lies in there, which is really easy to see and disprove if you watched the original video up to that point. And if you want the quicker version, of course, you can come see this other one real quick where uh, he actually cuts out the appropriate spots for you to look at. But uh, you went on to state Guinness World Records decision to reinstate our client's record was a slap in the face to all gamers or all video gamers, which is kind of true. Uh, <laughs> that's Guinness had falsified its records, which uh, did I, I don't think he actually said that, to be totally honest. Um, he, he said that Guinness will will uh, validate any record essentially for the right amount of money. Um that's paraphrasing, of course. And that Guinness has been sufficiently paid off by our client in order to reinstate the records, which, of course, isn't true as well. Um, you know, he, he uh, had put two hypotheticals in there that either Guinness was fearing a lawsuit or they were sufficiently paid off by somebody, which is not, you know, a straight up that Billy Mitchell paid them off or anything of that nature it was two hypotheticals which are a legal thing to have or at least here in the states they are to have you know a hypothetical question and you know your own thoughts but the work the words and the images in your video also falsely imputed that our client is a proven cheater is a criminal and in his opinion of course billy mitchell is a proven cheater along with things to prove his, uh, you know, his thoughts on that. Uh, as for is a criminal was never mentioned. The fact that he may have cheated at a high score by using MAME instead of the, uh, instead of original hardware, um, is not criminality. You know, it's not a criminal thing to do that. <laughs> criminal never even came up in the thing, but it comes up in the second one because this is one of the things labeled at him. Is a person not deserving of honors bestowed upon him and having, uh, which, you know, that, that's possible? <laughs> I, I hate to say it, but people can have their opinion. If they feel that you do not, you know, own or you do not deserve the honors bestowed upon you, then so freaking be it. That's up to them. They can have that thought. Um, as ha And as having bribed Guinness World Records in order to have his world record restored which again never actually happened go back to the the first statement there where you know he threw out some hypotheticals that maybe somebody paid him off or or they feared a lawsuit i personally am in the camp they feared a lawsuit because they are for money uh you know they are for a profit organization and they did not want to have billy mitchell suing them especially after billy mitchell just sued two other people for around over a million dollars combined and of course has a history of doing this with cartoon network and other things so on one hand i don't blame Guinness world records for uh going yeah we we may have fucked up right there reinstate his records real quick um yeah yeah we'll we'll, we'll do that um, I don't blame them for doing that at all. That, that's that's probably the natural course of things to happen. But he is a suing he is suing this uh, content creator for quite a bit of money, not as much as some of the others. I think it's really dumb. Uh, but I just thought I'd share it with y'all because you know I didn't know who Billy Mitchell was for years until I guess the King of Kong documentary came out, and then I was like, oh, that's cool. That guy's awesome. Um, but then actually seeing these sort of things play out over the years, I'm, I've changed my opinion on it. Um, he, he's not that great. He's not, not cool. He's not awesome or anything. He's got a huge ego and, um, yeah. Anyway, let me know what you think down in the comments below and, uh, I'll talk to you later. See ya. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment, smash that like button and always subscribe for more.
And of course there are other videos floating around somewhere on the screen, so click one of those and see if you can find something that uh, suits your fancy. Till then, I'll see you later. Bye.